Sugarcane is one of the world's thirstiest crops and is grown on vast tracts of land. The plant's extreme sensitivity to changing climate has forced farmers into smarter methods. It includes a move away from traditional aircraft to drones for crop spraying. We are actually sugarcane farmers that started this business in the early days just to improve the quality of spraying on our own farms. Uh, sugarcane uh, traditionally, or uh, in KZN, is grown in very technical terrain, steep terrain, smaller than average uh, field sizes, so very, very small targets, if I can put it that way, and, and requiring high precision uh, applications. Drones require less fuel, cut out wastage, and are more friendly to the environment than smaller planes. It is um, very, very intelligent in that it is very, very highly autonomous. You just program in your field boundaries and what have you, and the drone goes out and does the applications at your predetermined uh, rates. The T-50 uh, is also coming with an additional two nozzles, which increases its flow and uh, increases its efficiency when you're doing high volume applications, such as in your orchard scenarios. High-tech aircrafts have been found to be highly effective in applying herbicides and pesticides in the ripening process in commercial and small-scale operations in KwaZulu-Natal province, where the bulk of South Africa's sugar crop is produced. There is a significant difference between someone who ripens their product and someone who doesn't. We found that this is the best method to use in small-scale farms, because we found that the fields are generally close to other crops but with this method, we are able to spray in spaces like that. In 2021, we used a drone to spray the riping agent and our sugarcane crops. The result we received from this method was very impressive, considering that this was the first time using a drone. The financial returns we got back in the year had significantly increased. Drones, robotics and high-tech apps are fast becoming commonplace not just in the sugar industry, but across South Africa's farming sector. New technologies help monitor and manage operations and significantly bring down the cost and environmental impacts of producing food.